Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a simple but classic buttercream wedding cake. As you can see here, I have a 10 inch on top of a 14 inch round ice smoothed with traditional buttercream icing. And then I've taken some more of the same buttercream, put it in a bowl with a little bit of extra water to thin it out to make it a little bit easier to pipe. And then I'm going back and doing those scrolls just on the top edge of that center tier there. And I think on this section of the cake, I used a number three tip. You could also use a number four tip if you wanted something a little bit larger in diameter. And then you're also going to see me completely cover that bottom tier in the same style scrolling, but it will literally cover all of it. Um, I, I'm starting that here. And then the top tier, it's also going to be completely covered in scrolling. So there is no particular pattern to this. It's just a lot of curls and curves and kind of fancy S's with dots and loops and pearl drops and you just kind of have to do your own thing with this but it really does make for a nice cake. I also wanted to mention that this is not something that you have to do all at once. If I remember correctly, I actually did um, that small part on that center tier there and part of the bottom tier all right in a row. And then I stopped for 15 to 20 minutes did something else and came back to it. Otherwise, your hand just gets really cramped and kind of stuck in that position. So don't feel bad if you don't do it all in one sitting. Um, and I've even done some wedding cakes um, that I added more scrolling when I got to the venue just for a simple fact that I didn't want it to smudge and I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to be placed in the venue where the lighting was going to be and sometimes you want a heavier scroll or a lighter scroll depending on that so I do sometimes touch up or add a few extra scrolls when I get to the wedding venue um, and then I'll also add a pearl um, buttercream border to the cake when I get there as well. As you can see on this top tier that I'm scrolling now, it is not attached to the bottom two tiers. You can, depending on the size of your cake, travel with the entire cake stacked. And I actually used to do that quite a bit. Um, lately, I've gotten back to just putting on the top tier or sometimes even the top two tiers, depending on the size of the cake when I get there. Um, it just makes it a little easier for travel. I'm not as stressed about it. Um, and putting a little topper, this is a six inch round, um, when you get there is pretty quick and simple. So it's not a big deal to do that. So what I'll do is once I finish the scrolling on this cake, I transfer it over into, um, in this case, an eight inch board, because that's a six inch cake, um, put it in a box. And then when I get there, just using a cake spatula, I'll slide it off that eight inch board and pop it right onto the top of the 10 inch center tier of this cake. Um, and then pipe my borders on once I get it all settled in and level. 